Capricorn, hey y'all, how y'all doing? You have reached your southern intuition. And this is a read, if you have been ghosted. I have already laid out the cards. Note this reading may or may not resonate for everyone, but I believe that everything connects eventually. And if it is your message to hear, you will do so. And then please like, share, and subscribe. Cappy. Oh, thinking. All this thinking. Why did they do this to me? You're trying to get a strategy here. You're trying to be analytical and logical. The wisdom of the oracle is trying to tell you that this is the ability, you know, for you to have this reason to strategize your focus now. Taking things at face value and kind of following the logical path. That way your calculations will prove to be correct or, you know, if this moment here there's a deeper meaning and what could be obvious about it you know love is not logical but when you choose a partner it's good to have things in common other than just desire this is a time to weigh the pros and the cons of the partnership is there enough common ground then you know go for it if not there are other fish in the sea so don't force it to work and should others tell you who they are then take them at their word now is not the time to indulge in a fantasy, no matter what. In this case, the facts are the facts. But I feel you feel you found your soulmate and the one that your soul truly yearns for. And did you know that according to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces? Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search for their other halves. That is part of Plato's Simpsonism. <laughs> I just thought it was very interesting that that kind of come up in the read. Now, Cappy, new life is also underlying here. There's a birth of a new ideal, there is growth, there is opportunity, there is a breath of fresh air here that is renewing itself. The spring, you know, awakens the world. You are feeling like you're blossoming, you know. Everything kind of does when spring hits, just like overnight. Birds return home, they're singing their song, nature is full of promises. It's all just beautiful, beautiful new opportunities. There could be a new energy here that's entering an old relationship. And it's sweet, you know, and it's vibrant. And you might have encountered it over the winter. And now it's kind of time to connect with that individual because it was exciting and it was passionate and made your heart full. It could be a very auspicious sign, you know, with love with a partner. But you've got to acknowledge your inexperience, you know, to gently allow yourself to be like the delicate new bud that's opening up. It's okay that you may not know something. You're at the beginning of these things and you haven't yet hit your stride. So be immersed in the newness of it all. Don't try to rush the learning process. You know, be here in the now because life loves you. Your underlying energy here is the Ten of Pentacles. So... I feel this might have been a situation that you assumed or there was stability. You probably really loved and cared about this individual. Because the Ten of Coins is fulfillment and gratitude. So maybe out of this situation, you're going to find that healing. You know, you might have been split apart, but maybe that's because you've got to still find your true soulmate. Things could be going well for you. And you could be wanting to share that with someone else. The Ten of Pentacles is that foundation of happiness that's rooted in home, in a safe space. And nothing disrupting that. Maybe that's where you were. Maybe you were like, you know, I thought that I had good things in my life. I thought that everything was going to be fine. I, I've done this. I've done that. How could it be that something could just fall apart? This person just going to ghost me out of nowhere? 
regardless of it. You know, you still are generous. You're still kind. You may have not reached your level of success here, but you're hustling and you're struggling and, and you're working hard for that thank you that could go a long way. This is about your comfort, your security here. You have got victory in this situation. And you're seeing a victory. And you feel like you're going to shine here. You know, hey, this, this might have given you a new ideal here, this new life, this thinking ideal. All right, you want to ghost me? That's fine because I've got abundance. I don't need you. The Six of Rods ask you to hold your head high. Your accomplishments are still the result of your hard work. It's important to be proud of yourself. Other, others may recognize your effort. They may offer you a promotion. You know, it, it could just be something that you really didn't expect to continue. But there's no room to slack here or be arrogant. Just understand there's no limit on how far you can go and how far this situation can actually take you. I'm starting to kind of get an ideal here, Capricorn, that I think you're the ghoster. Because your person comes up with the Eight of Cups. Which implies that they're walking away from a situation to find emotional fulfillment. Maybe it's because you got a new opportunity, a new job somewhere else that you kind of just had to let this person go. Because the Eight of Elixirs is a feeling of melancholy. You know, it's, it's something comfortable that someone was ending here has come to an end and they've just got to leave it behind and they're trying to come with the terms of that you know ending makes you feel empty and sad and you know the direction you are heading is better for you but it doesn't make it any less painful so I, you switch the energies however it's just interesting that the eight of cups comes up for them it's just they've outgrown this maybe it's the relationship whatever a destructive behavior they're just trying to let it go and that way they can embark on a newer journey here leaving letting go that that's they're depressed so that's i don't i don't know cappy <laughs> uh yeah what I, whatever switch the energies but um the knight of coins here is what the universe is wanting you to know and the knight of coins is someone that's very efficient and hardworking, and they believe in the gradual progress of production they're kind-hearted they're dependable and they help out when needed but they could also be too cautious and sometimes need a nudge the Knight of Coins reminds us that the slow and steady ones win the race and sometimes it feels though you're not progressing at all but you're actually you really are you're in it you're right there you're just being careful in your actions and you know sometimes that gets you the best possible results your advice here is out of the two of coins making a choice the two of coins is a need to achieve harmony in all aspects of life it's finding the balance between money and health and emotions personal relationships that are challenging it's also very necessary to practice that in order to be well-rounded because your finances could be fluctuating and you're trying not to overindulge but it could be also a very creative solution in the situation to give you a very huge benefit maybe things were stagnant and you were sick of it so you're like all right i'm gonna try this new approach to this problem i'm gonna take this new life i'm really thinking about it i'm trying not to let my emotions get in over me just balance. Make a choice. Two of coins. It's a choice here. Do you want it or you don't? The outcome of your relationship here is that of the knight of elixirs. Well, that's sweet. I mean, the knight is someone that is romantic and loving. And they embody chivalry. They appreciate beautiful things. And they approach everything very delicately. This guy is so dreamy that he occasionally gets lost in the clouds and he doesn't really follow through on his promises. He appears when a very caring and affectionate disposition is needed. 
A relationship is on your mind, and this card is a very good omen of moving it to the next level. So if you were committed, you know, you're going to be moving in together. Or if not, you know, this is you finding your ideal partner. You're definitely looking. So maybe you got ghosted or you ghosted out on this individual because they maybe they weren't treating you right. Maybe you didn't feel that they were your soulmate that Zeus split in half here. However, someone's coming in and the relationship will move to the next level. If, as long as you stay in that safe space and you stay with the curiosity of things and how things are and you know just kind of go with the flow here cappy and good luck with that